Hello students, this is module two, week two, the introductory video. As you'll see here again, you have the rhythm for the class. You have the module that needs to be covered this week. You have these sections, which you'll advance through in here. And you can click next at the bottom when you are in each section. But as I said before, it is recommended that you follow in this order right here. So let's go through them. You have the introduction here, a little bit about this topic this week. You have the student learning objectives and what you need to do to complete the module. It's all right here. So you can, again, advance through here next at the bottom of each page, or you can click around through here into each of the assignments. Okay, so once you get through here, you have the readings in the next section. You have a couple of articles here about uh, tools and apps for remote interpreting and some reasons not to use Google Translate and how to avoid the pitfalls of free online translation tools. Here you have the video lecture, so watch that as well. This information is going to be on the quiz at the end of this module. And you have the PowerPoint here as well, which you can open or download for your use. Homework one, I mentioned this before, I try to sign up for this program, the free version, and they are in transition. They're transitioning their service. So when you go here, after you go through the sign up process, you need to verify your account, etc. There is a free education account. You're going to go here. This is the interpretershelp.com. And as you see here on the home and the dashboard, the application is being moved to their new servers, their new location. They're going to be called boothmate.app. And watch the video in the description because it's a very good application, but they're updating it. So as I mentioned in the lecture video, if you can get through this assignment, do your best and let me know how it goes. Because what you'll see once you get through the sign up process, you can't do much here. You can look around uh, network and search for members. In the assignment, I mentioned that you should look for me so they can share your glossary with me. So that is my name right there. You can look for me in the network and look for me and share your glossary with me so I can check it out. Again, I'm not looking for the precise translation. I'm not grading your translations, but in the creation of the glossary. You have the glossaries from the community that you can peruse over here and the community is right there. But what you'll see in the booth made, which is new for me, I just created this account as well. They are transitioning their servers. It looks like it's going to be very similar. So you'll see more activity on this later. But watch this video on interpreters help, which is the previous version and follow this activity the best you can. So open an account, it's free to open the account. If you've worked before and you have your own glossaries, you can import it or you can create a glossary. Just be sure that your glossary in the area that you work with, medical, legal, education, etc., contains at least 30 terms. And this is where I tell you, you can share it with me for review. So don't worry about the accuracy, do your best, of course. But I just want to make sure that you can enter the terms properly in each column for language A and language B. Be sure to set your glossary as public and share it with me. And then you look for my name, Cesar Vargas. After that, you have the group discussion here. So we are working through Google Sheets in this assignment. We are creating something similar. We're creating a community glossary. And this is a little bit about Google Sheets, which is not designed for interpreters per se, but this can help us organize a basic glossary. So you are going to need a Google account. If you need to create one, click right there. And then you go here in our spreadsheet, and then you're going to do this assignment. Read through the instructions, explains what you need to do. And you're going to have these terms, have an English sentence, a Spanish term, Spanish example, if you're working with Vietnamese, of course, do that. Of course, you're going to work with your language. Don't look for both. If you're English, Spanish, do this. If you're English, Vietnamese, do this. If you have a different working language that is not covered here, then do your best with this. So after you provide at least three rows in this assignment, which you're going to click here, you are going to answer these questions in the discussion for this week. 
to answer these questions. And if you like, you can hyperlink to your interpreter's help glossary if you're able to do that this week because of that transition. And please note this. Please be careful when editing Google Sheets. So what you're going to be seeing is this. This is our Google Sheet and you're going to enter an English term, English sentence with that example. Spanish if you're working with English Spanish or Vietnamese if you're working with English Vietnamese. So when you fill one of these out, that is one term, one entry, two entries, three entries. You can put your name on here and then your three entries. And then the next person can do that, your, their name, three entries. At least you can do more if you like. So you can do that on this spreadsheet. And the second part is that you are going to respond on the post to at least two of your classmates. Remember that you have to post yours before you see other people and respond. And finally, you have a module quiz for module two. So 26 points, 13 questions, two points each. And you are allowed two attempts. So on the first attempt, do your best. So you're going to see the answers that you got wrong. And then you're going to see an explanation as to why that is wrong. And then you can take it again for a total of two attempts. You have a time limit of 30 minutes for the quiz, which is more than plenty of time. And that's it. After that, you will have finished. If you have any questions, send me an inbox. Otherwise, have a great week.